the Lifestyle Dining Show. We are back here with Shane, still in the kitchen, finishing up some of the dishes we started. So what's going on? So the next thing that we need to do is put some uh, cheddar cheese on our tenderloin burger so that it can be ready to come off of the grill. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, also on the grill now we have some apple with smoked bacon that's just uh, crisping up a little bit and that's going to end up on top of the burger. The tuna can come out of the pan now. Uh, we'll get ready to cut that in just a second. So the ribs are ready to come off and we're going to just take them right, right from uh, the pan here with all the glaze on them and stack them up. Kind of like the game Jenga, if you remember playing that. Oh, and I love uh, Jenga. We still play that. It's good. It's a fun game. Um, so, you know, putting food together is not just about the preparation, it's actually about the presentation. Yeah, it's very important. You know, you eat with your eyes first, and if something doesn't look good, it's hard to imagine that it's going to taste good when you actually and go I gotta into it. i got to try that sauce right there. Can I, can yeah. I dibble? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my god, that's cool. Pomegranate. Is just, can you taste oh, the pomegranate? Oh, pomegranate is just phenomenal. So now that those are on there, the next thing that we do is just a little drizzle of basil oil. And then the last thing that we'll do is this is a little bit of candied orange zest uh, that's infused with some, some secret spices. It has a little bit of cayenne pepper in it, so it's a little bit spicy. And that just gives it a nice, sweet, spicy sort of note when you, when you get a bite of the rib and you get that and it kind of jumps around in your mouth. So when we start the ahi, again, it gets a little bit of the basil oil, kind of that visual texture thing from the last and one. And what's in the basil oil? Uh, the basil oil is a vegetable oil, blend oil, that's infused with basil that we make here ourselves, so it gives it a real, real bright color and, and vibrant look to it. The next one that we'll do is, this is actually a pomegranate syrup. This is different than the pomegranate glaze we use for that. This is just uh, pomegranate that's reduced down, uh, so it has a real nice acidic, uh, not nearly as sweet as the one that's on the ribs. Uh, and then after that, this is an emulsi emulsification of chipotles, uh, oil, has a little bit of soy in it, so it has a little bit of saltiness to it, and, and that chipotle gets a real smoky spice to it. It's very nice with the tuna. And that goes down. Yeah. You know, tuna is always a lot about the, the seasonings and the, the sauces that you put with it. It, it really is a blank canvas just, for other, other uh, flavors, and it, it can go almost any direction with it, which is really nice. This is a mashed parsnip puree. So it's our mashed potatoes, uh, garlic mashed potatoes, and parsnip puree mixed together. Uh, a little bit more parsnip than mash, so it has a sweeter flavor from the parsnip and a real creaminess that, that goes with it. So now we're going to cut the tuna, and we just cut ours on a bias one time through. I hear cutting the tuna is a very significant part of presentation. Can you cut it the wrong way, it'll fall apart? Is that it true? will, and it also depends on the tuna. Uh, this tuna is super fresh, and it's nice and nice and firm. It's not, uh, not flaky or... Uh, sinewy doesn't have a lot of connective tissue in it, so you get that real clean cut and has that bright red flavor. Now we're going to top that with our mandarin hickam slaw. It says mandarin oranges, red onion, has a little bit of our mayonnaise and vinegar in it, so it is like a coleslaw dressing, and that just goes on top. And hickama has a real kind of crunchy flavor, so it adds a real nice texture to the dish. And then Texture, on, I like texture. On top of that is just some uh, micro cilantro. Uh, and cilantro kind of plays really well with the flavors of the chipotle and the tuna and gives it a real bright flavor. So now we're going to move back to the burger and the, finishing the burger one of the things we need to do is drop our onion rings and our fries for it. So we're going to come back here and do that. So a little fries, a little onion rings. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's very much combining both, I like it. very much a, a barbecue burger. This is our Chipotle barbecue burger. On the bread, on the bottom of the bread, this is our chipotle sour cream that we make here in the restaurant. Uh, sour cream infused with chipotles and, and other spices. On top of that is just some nice sliced ripe tomatoes. A few of those on there. Can't go wrong with tomatoes, Ash. Yeah. No. And then we'll come back over to the burger over here. We'll top it with the bacon. Like Already I said, has bacon makes on it. everything better. That goes on there. Uh, so now it gets the onion rings. The onion rings actually go on top. I was thinking on the side. No, this is, uh, we're, we're building a giant burger here. Wow. Uh, it's all about construction here. And then on top of that, barbecue sauce. Mm. Now what kind of barbecue sauce? Is that any pomegranate in this one? There's no pomegranate in this one. This is a uh, much more traditional style barbecue sauce. And it goes really well with the burger. You know, if you have something that has too much flavor and too much competition for the burger and the bacon, it can kind of muddle the flavor. So, gotcha. just like this. And That's then, a tall burger. That's almost like eight inches tall. Yeah. I mean, and then that's it. That is a gorgeous looking burger. Shane, thanks so much for showing us around back here in the kitchen. You made some incredible dishes. I can't wait to try it. But you know, Ash, what I always say. 
good food ain't nothing without a good cocktail. That is true. So let's go grab our table and some cocktails. We'll be right back with more of the Lifestyles and Dining Show. Tons of drinks and tons of food in front of us. Yes. So let's get started. Perfect. Let's talk about a few of these babies. Okay. Well, you had mentioned earlier that you love martinis, so I wanted to definitely bring over our pomegranate martini, which is made with uh, Grey Goose orange and um, real pomegranate juice. So Pomegranate kind of seems to be one of the special ingredients here at Ruby Grill. Yeah, definitely. It would probably tie into the ribs with the it pomegranate would. sauce. Yeah, definitely. Right. And my favorite, uh, or one of my favorites, is the Thunderbird Margarita. Of course, lots of salt. I bet you uh, that's a great summer item. It is, yeah. yeah. Along with the Wet Woody, I think those are probably the two most popular ones for you know sitting on the deck and lounging and just you know soaking up the sun and of course and what makes some good cocktails. Well, again, because it doesn't have the sweet and sour, it has the fresh squeezed uh, lime juice and the agave nectar. So it's definitely a good choice. Uh, we also have, you know, great beer selection. Um, this, of course, Bud Light bottle. Always smooth, always refreshing. It is. Again, for summers as well. <laughs> and then also we have the Shop Top. So a lot of people enjoy something a little bit more refreshing, I guess, and we offer that on, on draft And you guys well. have a lot of draft beers as well, right? We do, yeah. Uh, we have anywhere, we change them quite often, but we have anywhere from light to dark. In the, in the winter months, we have a little bit more darker beers, like porters and things like that. But in the summers, we lighten it up a little bit. So we keep it fresh, so always changing. Never the same. Tell us about yeah. these Jameson shots we've got in front of us. Yes. <laughs> so we just started uh, doing spirit tastings. So every third Thursday of the month, we do spirit tastings. So we invite everybody upstairs to enjoy the view and get a little bit of education but also get to drink. And then we got our naked wet Woody, or I, not naked, sorry. I don't yeah. My mind topless <laughs> wet Woody. That kind of flows into it, definitely. True. So bas <laughs> basically, it's uh, our original wet Woody, but we serve it topless. Basically, we leave the shot on the side. So this is uh, Bacardi Select rum, and we double the shot. So it's a huge float. I don't even know if it'll even fit all the way in. There That's we go. That's got to be a local's now, favorite. Yeah, yeah. You'll definitely uh, be enjoying feeling, feeling it after <laughs> one, for sure. And is there truly a limit to the one or what what is you get on one night? We do offer a um, what we call is a rock hard woody. And basically, it's a couple different combinations of 151. So we do sometimes limit uh, people to just two because it's just like two. seven shots in one drink. So I think I definitely. probably only get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel it great. I'm feeling good after one. So. Well, you know me. Nothing goes better with a Bud Light than pizza. It's definitely great. The wood fired pizzas are a big hit. Which is truly a unique to the t to the area. I mean, wood fired pizza I mean, is very rare. Very rare, and they are half price during happy hour too. Well, man, I want to thank you so much for having us here today. The pizza looks great, but I'm eyeing that burger right now, and I got a Bud Light here to wash it all down with. So, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for coming, having us. So I'm gonna take a bit of this baby ash, this baby right here. This is like a 10 inch burger. You want a bite, <laughs> Ash? No, thank you. Why not? That's all you. This looks good. 